Yo, what up guys? Useless here. I have seriously not made a video in a long time again. I know this video was supposed to be Shameless Huntress, but honestly, when I was recording it, I was literally just one hitting like really, really bad players over and over again. And I just kept, I just kept feeling bad. So Shameless Huntress is going to be delayed. However, in the last two weeks, I have been working on something. And if you watched my last stream, you would know, but uh, I'm currently working on a script for the Ultimate Survivor Guide. The guide I'm working on is meant for people who really want to get better at the game and I'm basically teaching everything that I know about the game and how to become basically one of the best survivors in the game, at least in my opinion. So I'm very slowly working on that in my off time, but uh, yeah, I just wanted to give a quick little update about the Shameless Huntress video. I'm, it's gonna be delayed for a bit. I'm not sure when I'm gonna upload it, but I do wanna update you guys on and say that Shameless Huntress is going to be delayed by a little bit. I know, I know, Shameless Freddy got 20,000 likes. I know, I know, you guys are entitled to the video. I'm sorry, <laughs> but you guys are gonna have to wait. But I do have a special announcement sometime in the near Near future i'm going to be making a video and i will be announcing something very very special and it has something to do with the consistencies of my streams because i do want to take it seriously and i do want to become become a lot more consistent with it so yeah if you care about my streams keep an eye out with that out of the way let's get into the video honestly i don't really know what the video title is even going to be i don't know what this video is going to be about this is me playing some solo queue having some fun trying to chill and uh see what this new update's all really about i'm playing on the ptb at the moment i want to to see how the new killer works i actually have not even played a single game of the ptb so this is my first impression of it and uh yeah i'm not gonna be playing the new survivor or trying out the new perks uh until the update actually comes out so when the update actually does come out i will be making videos on those perks anyways this intro is kind of long so i'm gonna i'm gonna quickly uh explain the perks real quick first perk i'm using iron will because i like being silent dead art instead of sprint burst because dead art is a little bit more fun in my opinion bond to see my teammates urban evasion around the whole entire map doing no gens and decisive to counter those toxic tunnelers. Without further ado, let's get right into the first game without hesitation. All right, we're playing on Bad and Preschool, and oh my god, the new graphics look sick. Oh my god, this looks awesome. Bad and Preschool look, actually looks so dope. Oh my god, the new palettes look awesome. What the hell, there's a breakable wall over here. What? Okay, so I see that they're... Oh, that's a new killer. Jesus Christ, he looks spooky. So I can... Nice hiding locker. I can uh, see that they've implemented breakable walls into this map. All right, all right. I mean, I, I don't... I mean, first impression, I don't really like that they added breakable walls into the... The original maps, but you know, I'm going to... I'm going to remain... Uh, I'm going to remain positive. Maybe, maybe, maybe it won't be so bad. What the hell are these generators? What? Dude, these gens look so weird. Whoa, what? What was it? Ooh, I like that effect. What? Whoa. Oh, that's awesome. They added a separate animation. They separated a separate animation to doing the gen. Oh my God, why is he so fast? I actually have no idea how the new killer works. Oh my God, the new shack. His footsteps. What is going on? Oh my god. Oh, did they, did they fix flashlights? I wonder. I'm gonna vault this instantly. What the, the... Do you have Lightborn? What's going on with my flashlight? You can hit me here, can't you? <laughs> yeah, I mean, that should have hit me, but you know what? Instead of case series, I should... I should just expect that nowadays. It's fine, though. Did they fix flashlights or no? What the hell? <laughs> what is going on? What is going on? What is that? What was that? Is he, like... Oh, right, it's the alchemist. So, like, he injects himself or something and then he goes super fast, right? Oh, I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm wasting sack pilot. I don't fucking care. <laughs> oh, that delayed to st Okay, that delayed stuns just kind of proves that. That's the only reason why he hit me with that shack window. Oh my god. 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 <laughs> He's so fast. Oh, I should definitely be playing the new killer on the PTB. I don't know why I'm playing Survivor. I don't know. Maybe, maybe I just. A lot of people tend to, oh god, t a lot of people just tend to only make killer videos, but I kind of want to see, I kind of like playing Survivor first when I go against new killers, because like, it, it brings like a new horrific experience instead of me knowing how the killer works, you know what I mean? That's why I want to do that. So yeah, there's a break of a wall here, so I wonder how that's going to work. I should have died there 100%. Okay. Okay, teammates just 
once again, I have Bond for this reason to see my teammate hide in a corner. Because he's scared. Oh. Oh my god. Oh my god. What the hell? Bruh. But dude, the new graphics. Mmm. Beautiful. They actually look amazing. Big hats. Big, big hats. Big tips to behavior. This looks amazing. I'm pretty sure they haven't done this with all maps, but I think they might in the future. But oh my god, does this map look awesome? I love this map. I love the quality. But yeah, no, the new the new graphics look beautiful. I mean, at least we're bad in preschool. Oh, the new lockers too. Uh, personally, I'm not a huge fan of the new lockers. I like the old classic lockers. Eh, yeah, personally, the, I, I like the old lockers, but everything else, mm, it looks amazing. The generators, the new uh, animation for like the specific side of the generator. Ooh, I'm wet. I'm soaking wet. Bill, why are you following me? <laughs> also, footsteps seem a lot louder. Yeah, did they fix footsteps? <laughs> oh God. Did they fix footsteps? Or like, not footsteps, but did they fix sounds? It seems like they fix sounds. Is that just me or, or are they just louder? It could be just be that though louder. Wait, did you just make the pallet evaporate? What the hell was that? What? Dude, the new pallets look so sick. I love the new pallets. It actually looks so cool. Oh my God. <laughs> what? Uh, <laughs> what the hell is that? Should I make a killer video? Like, showcasing the new killer. Because honestly, I feel like everybody everybody has already done that. And I don't, I don't think people really want to see more killer gameplay videos. I think they just want to see, like, the survivor's perspective. Because I can imagine there's not a lot of survivor gameplay of the new killer at the moment. All right, well, we got all we got all five gens done. That's nice. All right, let's see if we can get a flashlight saver over here. Pick him up, pick him up, pick him up. What the hell is wrong? What is wrong with flashlights? Whoa, what is wrong with flashlights? So the new... F okay, so they fixed the flashlight bug. But it still feels very inconsistent. Oh my god. Um, I might need to go and kill your friends with like a, like a friend or something and just see what they did with flashlights. It's not just me, right? They just did something wrong with flashlights. They clearly fixed the angle. But... The timing feels really weird. I'm gonna try again. Man, I'm just stupid. Probably just stupid. What? He doesn't have Lightborn? I'm so confused. I can't be the only one that's... Wait, did they fix... Did they change the Exigate animation? I'm so confused with the animations on the Exigate. I'm also very confused with the flashlights. I'm more confused on the flashlights. Okay, there's no pal here anymore. Wait, maybe there is. There is. Bug. I'm just gonna instantly pressure the exit gate instead. Okay, so they open the exit gate away. What's that clock sound? What? I can make this. Maybe. <laughs> yes! Ha <laughs> ha! Dead art OP. Alright, GG's. Yeah, the new kill looks pretty cool. The, I don't know what's wrong with flashlights, but I'm gonna have to find that out later, I guess. First game of that map and first impressions? Ooh, dude, I wanna kiss behavior right now. They did a wonderful job with the graphics, in my opinion. Holy hell, dude. All right, we're playing on this map. I'm not a huge fan of this map, but you know what? It is what it is. Uh, they apparently touched um, the chests. And they've also added some new offerings that have nothing to do with the map. So it's like they're like actual like new offerings that do something completely different. So there's offerings now that basically make it that you can you can like have a better chance at spawning hatch at like the basement or the main building stuff like that it's kind of weird you can also see like the aura of the basement hooks in the first like 20 seconds of the game or something like that but uh yeah it's kind of kind of weird i love this new chest animation and this new like model of the chest it looks so nice okay um i'm just gonna do a jenny i guess yeah that's so cool how they touched the jet animation it's honestly so cool. I'm so happy that they did so as well. Makes makes their game seem more finished. 
like the end game collapse. So it's nothing, nothing new in towards, towards of gameplay balance or anything. But it's, it's definitely awesome to the eyes. But yeah, one thing I really want to try th out this game is try to get a flashlight stuff or even try to get a flashlight blind. Uh, I asked some of my friends on what's going on with flashlights and like, apparently the aim is the re main reason why I'm not able to get the flashlight save. I don't really see it. It seems pretty much like normal. See, so yeah, I'm not sure what's going on with flashlights, but I, I have not been able to get a single flashlight save. So I want to try, try get a flashlight blind and maybe see what's what I'm doing wrong. Because people are saying are saying that they are able to get flashlight blinds. It's just it's just a lot harder. But yeah, I want to see what's going on. This kill just completely lost track of. Oh my gosh. <laughs> All right. All right. Forgot you have your ability. I don't I don't hear a sound when you use your power though. That might be, I'm not sure if that's a bug or if I'm, I'm like deaf or if that's like not even intended. Okay. But I do want to go for a flash. Let's say this, this killer doesn't seem that great. I can get, maybe I can get him on me and then just try to go for a flashlight save. Like I'm just not able to get a blind, break the pallet, break the pallet. Hmm. I don't know. Something's wrong. Something's wrong and I don't understand it. I'm gonna see. I'm gonna see if some of my flashlight use. Also, I heard that the, uh, I saw that there's a new perk that basically allows it that when you uh, complete deplete your item, it gives fifty percent of it back once per trial. That sounds that sounds amazing if you ask me. That sounds absolutely amazing, and I definitely definitely want to use that for a video. <laughs> that would be awesome. Just imagine having like a really really high mech kit or like a flashlight. With like streetwise or bonnie knowledge or whatever that'd be so sick just have like infinite basically just in, it's not really infinite but a really really long or high durable item sounds sick and yes i do realize i'm kind of being a dipshit by not doing gens but i do just want to try to get a flashlight save i want to see what's up with it oh that's what they did with pallets okay that's still pretty cool yeah that's still pretty cool i don't think i'm gonna get a flashlight save I got a flashlight save. What? What? Okay, so the timing is, is literally the exact same. See, it is, it is just it is just aiming. Also, I realize I just. Oh my god. <laughs> what is that? What is that sound? Just like bumping into stuff. Kind of reminds me of the demo night with like infinite charges. No, probably no one's going to get that reference on like t 10 times servers with the splendid screen. I'm going to stop before people are just more confused with the references. Okay. I don't know. People are saying that the sounds are like bugged or something. Maybe it's killer, but for me, I kind of like the sounds. Me personally. I mean, I don't know. Maybe I'm just, I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. But in my opinion, the sounds like so, the sound, the sounds seem pretty cool. They don't seem broken. At least to me. I mean, I think there's some things that are bugged, but I don't think that's necessarily all sounds. I think this is with the PTB and the new update. All right, I'm gonna go try to go for one more flashlight save. We do have only one gen left, so I'm not really, I'm not really killing the team by not doing gens. Um, but I don't think I'm gonna get an opportunity to do anyway. Uh, what is going on? What? Did you see me? Yeah, it did. I want to go for a flashlight save. Oh well. I'll take it. Yeah, no, the the new the, the footsteps at least seem seem really good in terms of sound. All right, this is what I'm gonna do. What you just lunged forward? Okay, I see, I see. Yeah, to be fair though, the new pallets and lockers don't seem fitting at all with this map. Okay, maybe maybe the maybe the gens do, but the 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 pallets. Uh, they don't really seem fitting with this map, but that's obviously, obviously they're going to change the quality of this map. At least I assume so. Okay. Maybe I shouldn't have tried do doing that. I realize I'm just kind of being a dipshit right now. <laughs> I'm just literally just not doing anything. All right. Well, that's, I guess that's GG's. You know what? You know what I'm going to do? I'm probably going to put, I probably am going to put this in the introduction, but uh, I'm going to ahead. Go, I'm going to go ahead and play some killer. I changed my mind during mid gaming. I'm going to go ahead. Uh, instead of playing survival, I'm actually going to go try to play out the killer and see uh, how he, how he is. Cause most of the, most of the killers I'm going against aren't very good. So I'm going to go ahead and try out the new killer myself and yeah, it's cause it's a rank 20. Okay. Matchmaking. I'm going to go test out the new killer myself and see how good he is. 
Alrighty, everybody, we are back. I wanna make the second half of this video a killer video because this is the PTB. The new killer is out and the first half was me playing Survivor to be scared of the killer because I have no idea how the killer works. But now I wanna know actually how the killer works because you know, most of the killers I went against weren't really good. So maybe the killer isn't good or maybe the players I was going against weren't good. So I have no idea how he works. I'm gonna go read his power real quick and uh, yeah. So special ability rush, this is exactly what I thought. While performing rush, the blight cannot launch an attack. So basically you run forward, but you can't, uh, you can't lunge and attack while doing it. Rush into a wall or obstacle in the environment to slam onto it. If the rush fails to connect with a wall or obstacle, or if the blight is out of rush tokens, he will enter a short fatigue state and begin recharging the tokens. Okay. Special attack, lethal rush. Following a slam, press the power button to launch a lethal rush. Doing so consumes a rush token. A lethal rush behaves the same as a rush, except that the blight may launch an attack by pressing the attack button. Okay. Now from reading that, you probably understand how the killer works but you see i'm a retard i'm a goddamn moron so i the only way i can really learn stuff in this game is by learning it the hard way so that's exactly what we're gonna do and i don't really have a lot of perks on this man so i'm using his uh adept build i guess so starting for the first perk we have hex undying survivors within two meters of any totem have their aura revealed for six seconds and whenever a hex totem is cleansed that hex transfers to an unavailable dull totem losing any tokens in the process interesting hex blood favor when a survivor is hit pallets within 16 meters of your location are held in place by the entity for 15 seconds and these pallets cannot be pulled down wow Oh, okay. And Blood Favor has a cooldown of 60 seconds. A hex totem that has a cooldown. Interesting. And lastly, we got Dragon's Grip. After kicking a generator for the next 30 seconds, the first survivor that interacts with it will scream, revealing their location for four seconds and becoming afflicted with the exposed status effect for 60 seconds. And this perk has a cooldown of two minutes. Okay. I can imagine Dragon's Grip being a decent perk with Pop Goes the Weasel. And even though, actually, you know what? I'll use Pop Goes the Weasel. <laughs> I have Pop Goes the Weasel once. I might as well try it out. There's a lot of add-ons for this killer and I could read them all or even use a couple of them. But to be honest, I just want to use his base kit and just see how well he performs without any add-ons. Anyway, without further ado, let's get into our first killer game. Oh! Okay, we're playing on Midwich Elementary School on this as this killer. Okay. Well, um, I have literally this is my first game on this map, so that's kind of unfortunate. Uh, what? Okay, I literally have no idea how this character works. Um. Oh God! Oh God! Um, I feel like I could hit you right there if I just knew how to play this character. Okay, so. Once again, it takes me a while to under actually understand how a character works. So you might have to give me some time, okay? I don't understand how this character works yet, but I will. Okay, for fun. Okay, I'm pretty bad. Okay, I'm pretty bad. Okay, this is this is pretty embarrassing to watch right now. Hello, hello, hello. Oh, if you're hearing this, then you made it. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Okay, so spamming right click is the way to go. Ow. Okay, so he doesn't actually inject himself with anything to use his power. He just kind of uses it instantly. I didn't know that. What kind of mind game do you think you're pulling, buddy? Okay, I do have Pop Goes the Weasel, so I can just hook this man's and then just pop it. But before I actually pop it, I kind of want to see what this breakable wall animation looks like. That's kind of cool. I love how the, the palette is like five, five frames per second. That's pretty cool. Um, okay, you're gonna throw this. You're not gonna throw that pallet inside? Okay, interesting. I'm so bad. Oh, wait, you can use your ability. Can't you, like, use your ability again during the rush, right? You can do that, right? No, you can't. I'm so confused. Oh, I think it's when you do that, you can. Oh, I see. I get it. I get it. That's kind of. That kind of makes him bad on open maps, doesn't it? I feel like it does. Hmm, I don't know. Let's go! That didn't hit you? I feel like that should hit you. Oh, right, because he came and lunge, right? If I use my right click like that. What? What? I'm so confused. That doesn't hit him? Okay, I'm really bad. I need to understand how this guy actually works in order for me to play this character well. So I'm going to have to do that. To fake this, it works. I get the lunge hit. All oh, right, I forgot about the hex totem. Oh my god, that's so sick! I, for I completely forgot. I completely forgot how it works. Okay. 
Okay, I do that. Oh man. This character just doesn't seem that great. And I, I know that might seem like, oh, you're just, you don't know how to play this character well. No, he just seems kind of inconsistent in terms of map pressure. But yes, it is also because I'm very bad. It, it, that is also very true. It's okay though, we can get a comeback. We, we can get a comeback, trust me, you gotta believe me. If you believe me, everything goes well. So I use right click to rush. What? I'm pretty confused on how this ability works. I'm also pretty confused on how this ability works. Wait, what? Okay, I guess the other guy just disappeared. No one has DS, so it doesn't matter. Nice flashlight. Okay. Um, yeah, I need to understand how this character works. Why are you doing all for one? I can just do this. You killed your teammate. Don't freaking do that. I'm not, you know, I'm not going to be a dick. I'm not going to hook that person. Even though I could and just get him out of the game instantly, I'm not going to do that. Just don't do that next time, please. <laughs> if you're going to do that, at least have BT or something that you can save your teammate with. Okay, so if I hit something. Okay, I messed up there. Hmm. I don't know. Once again, I learn things the hard way, so that's the only way I'm going to be able to play this character. What? How do you play this character? <laughs> if I hit something. Oh, that's what that's used for. Okay. Oh, I don't know, man. I don't know how to feel about this character. Oh my God. It's so annoying. Oh my God. It's so annoying. Did you go back on this? Oh, you're committing to this, aren't you? Oh yeah. You're one hit. I completely forgot. You're one hit because I freaking bricked the generator, then you tapped it. Completely forgot about that. That's all. I, I love that. That's awesome. I probably should not have broken the generator because now I can't pop the gen with my Paco's Weasel, so that sucks. Okay. Oh! Oh! That's how he works. Okay. Okay. I'm understanding just a little bit. Wait, whoops, I messed up. So it's a lethal push. That that's what I'm that's what I got confused about. So it's a lethal push. Okay. Ow. Oh my god, it's so janky. This character's so janky. I feel like this guy would be so good if he wasn't so janky. Let's see, I'm not gonna turn on the other guy because I don't if I could do that and maybe even win, but I don't wanna I don't wanna do that. Not with randoms. Hello, dead hard. Nope. Alright, well I've barely hooked anybody this game i fucked like what like four people five people not four people but like five times i fucked uh, yeah if i want to win i'm gonna have to seriously pop some jennies and also learn how this character works <laughs> uh maybe in my second game i'll do a lot better we'll see hello um okay let's go ahead and oh yeah I forgot i should probably equip a mori for my next game because i have no idea how i have no idea how his mori looks like whoops god it's so Oh, I did it! I did it! I'm proud! I hit him, I hit him, I hit him, I hit him, I hit him! I'm proud that I got that, Jesus. Okay, so that's, that's... I'm learning. My brain is going exponentially longer. Wait, bigger. Um, are you hiding here? Honestly, you probably just ran out here. That's why I saw scratch marks. Yeah. That's what I thought. It's okay, I, I'm, I'm starting to understand how this character works. So next, next game, I'll probably do, I'll probably be able to do, probably a bit of, I'll probably be able to play a lot better. Words are extremely difficult. Yeah, those characters mainly just feels really janky. His hitboxes when he uses his power seems very large, making it really hard to be able to like go through choke points or whatever. So that's one thing I really don't like about this character. But yeah, GG's. Oh, yeah. So we're playing Mother's Dwelling. I only have a Cypress Mori, so... I'm gonna have to play really well if I want to be able to mori somebody this game. But it's okay. I'm 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 useless. Of course I can. I of course I, I win every game. I'm the best DB. I'm the best DB player. All right. Oh my god! I can hear your footsteps so easily. It's not even funny. It's not even funny how easy I can hear your footsteps. Are right, we gonna do this mind game? Cause it always works. Moo ha ha. Okay, we're seriously going to want to be able to kill everybody this game, though. I played pretty bad last time. Um, Nice dead heart. 
Okay. I'm still not very familiar in how to play this character very well, but I will learn him pretty soon, I imagine. But uh, first impression, in case anybody wants to know my first impressions of this killer, he seems pretty meh. I feel like this killer would be really good if they just made his hitbox a bit smaller. It also increases scale cap of him as well. That's all we really gotta say about that. Darn. Also, I wish he could break pallets with his power, but he unfortunately can't, which removes a lot of the potentials that you can do with this character. Oh my god, like right there is one of the things I really hate about this character. Oh my god. But I'm sure he can still have some sort of play. So I don't think he's, one thing, I don't think he's terrible. I do not think he's terrible, but I don't think he's that great either. I know I hurt somebody here. Okay, I guess, I guess I'm just, I guess I'm just going, I guess I'm going insane. Hi, Dwight. You have the balance landing. I kind of want to make another video on balance landing. I kind of want to revisit the perk again. Because, you know, it's, it's a pretty fun perk to use. All right, let's see if we can use this right click properly this time. So we're going to do that. Okay, we're on cooldown. Okay, this guy. Okay, you're dead. Awesome. Also, in the description of this character, it says he's tall. He is not tall. He is probably smaller than the hag. So, I don't know why behavior thinks this killer is tall. He is definitely not tall. I'm not sure what that's about. I want to be able to use my pop here. Please. Please. <clears throat> oh my god. <laughs> Yeah, this character just seems very clunky. It's my only complaint about this killer so far. But th that, that's like my only complaint about this killer. Let's see what we'll be able to do here. I do want to be able to use my Cypress Mori. So I need to play well, like I said earlier. I'm definitely going to slug you here, though. I only have one gen done. Oh, I see the oh, all right. I can see where you are. I can completely forgot about that. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> He's so clunky! <laughs> I can't move as him, dude. I feel like I'd be amazing for these kind of toss because like, they're like straightforward, but I can't. Whatever. It's fine. Maybe I'm using his power wrong. Maybe it's not used for killing. Maybe it's literally just used for mo like mobility. In fact, I'm probably right about that. All right, I can use my M1. Oh my God, I completely forgot about the lethal rush M1. I am stupid. It's fine though. All right, well, the basement's here, so uh, enjoy that, Bodhi. All right, so we got a couple hooks, and they only have one gen done. I'd say it's pretty good. I'm going to go over here. No gen progress. I know there is... I know I downed somebody in this area, but I forgot where they are. Hmm. Well, I do have somewhat of a DC3 gen. I have these two gens here, then I have a main building. So to be fair, I could just probably just proxy camp until I get the 4K, because that is something I can definitely do. It's something that these survivors have kind of allowed me to do since the whole entire 3 gen situation that they, they put themselves into. But, uh, it's still fine. Amazing. Amazing tap. Amazing. All right, let's use our right click. Here we go. Oh, I see. Okay, so his lunge is really hard to use. I, as I would imagine, if you could control it easily, it could probably be really strong. All right. We're still doing pretty good in terms of pressure, in terms of map pressure, so I think we're... I think, we're, I think we're doing pretty fine. I guess you're supposed to hit walls in order to actually move. I don't know. Oh yeah, so the cool, th that red little bar doesn't really matter. It's basically just the tokens. So I should just be, re I just, I should just be paying attention to my tokens, not the actual red, like refill bar. That has nothing. That, that's not. That, that's like not important at all. I don't know why. Th I don't know why that's even in the game. I guess I just know when things are gonna be refilled. I guess. Oh, I thought you're gonna meet him about that. Use his power. Hit this hill. We're gonna go around. Ooh, imagine. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's sick. <laughs> that's fucking sick. Um, alright. I don't care. DS me. There's no one around me. Just DS me if you have it. Yeah, I don't mind. I don't mind. I do not mind at all. Maybe I can even down you again. Oh, you went this way. Okay. Okay. Whoops. Oh. Mm. oh my it's so clunky. Okay. I guess we can do this instead. Uh, <laughs> is he, he's, he has like he has like ice roller skates. That's like the best way I can like explain this killer. He has like ice roller skates. Alright. 
Yeah, this killer, if anybody thinks this killer is like really good, I don't know. It could just be me and like me not knowing like, like this killer's full potential or not. But I think I've played long enough to kind of like know straight up if the killer's going to be good or not. I can probably say this killer is, I would, I would probably say he's pretty average, maybe below average, but... Since he has like decent mobility, I would say that he's like above average, but something's telling me he's like below average just because of the clunkiness, really. But I don't know, I guess that is just me. Are you gonna save or no? I know you were here. Where are you? Don't tell me you're in this locker. All right, let's see if you're in this locker. Go head on. You're just in this locker? Okay. Yeah, I haven't really talked much about the new survivor. Um, he seems kind of boring. <laughs> he just seems like a like a regular businessman. That's what he like like looks like. Like a blonde just businessman. That's what all he looks like to me. All right, we're gonna get this Dwight. Hit this tree slope. Hit that. We're gonna go around. Do it again. <sighs> well, at least I got close to him. Yeah, I feel like I'm playing this character wrong. If anybody out there is having is finding a lot of success with this killer, please let me know if I'm doing something wrong in terms of using his power like just completely wrong. Because I honestly don't know. That was a weird bloodlust thing. So yeah, let me know if I'm playing this character wrong. Because I don't, I don't know. I'll, pro I'll probably be able to learn how to play him pretty soon, regardless of what happens. It's kind of weird how you just can't attack when you f when you first do your thing i don't like that I don't, I don't like how you have to bump into something in order to use his lunge or to attack someone oh <laughs> close yeah this killer this killer is pretty easy to spin to but yeah it doesn't really matter all right well they, they only have two gens left but there's just one person alive hopefully it doesn't like hide wait there's a oh yeah there's no offerings saying where the hatch will spawn well i really want to get the mori i really want to get the mori Ooh. Please don't tell me you found. Tell me, please don't tell me you got locked with the hatch. <gasps> oh yes, we're gonna be able to mori the Dwight. Yes, the Dwight's like the best character to mori in this game. All right, Dwighty boy. Okay, I've never seen this mori before. All right, let's see what it looks like. All right, it's the PTB, so there's no sound. Um. Okay, without sound, it's really awkward, but I can imagine with sound, it'll seem like very, very disturbing. Uh, the more looks kind of unique, though. I, li I like it. I don't, I wouldn't say it's brutal, but it's definitely unique. But uh, yeah, once again, <laughs> I know I haven't been uploading that much. I'm, I really am working on it. Hopefully this new uh, update that's going to come out soon will uh, maybe uh, motivate me to play more and record more. But yeah, once again, keep, keep an eye out for the future special announcement with the streams and everything but uh yeah hope you guys enjoyed the video and uh see you guys next time peace